Oh, yeah. <laughs> Much sat we down. Rolling, we rolling, we rolling, we rolling, yeah. Mr. Light, though. Your boy Chris back with another video today. Actually headed to link up with my bros, man. We're gonna get a little workout in and get a, get some field work today. If y'all don't know, man, I actually used to play football. So a lot of time, you know, when I'm working out, I much rather be doing some kind of football workout. I'm actually gonna link up with them right now uh, and, and, and knock that out real quick. And uh, I got some other stuff planned for today. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Um, if you haven't watched my last video, definitely check that out. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. Um, but I like kind of doing these little vlog type videos, you know, where y'all kind of follow me along with what I'm doing. So we're gonna get a lot of the car stuff done too. Don't get me wrong, like it's still a car channel. So we actually might get some good car content in today. So y'all stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna catch y'all on this field. Hell already.
with y'all. So we got some unfortunate news, man. Um, you know, as y'all saw working out, and uh, one of my homeboys, his little brother, he ended up tearing his ankle up pretty bad, man. We don't know if it's broken or fractured or whatever yet, but it looked pretty bad. I ain't gonna lie. It was just one of those freak accidents. You know, it wasn't much you can do to control it. Just out here working out, running routes like we normally do. And, you know, cut wrong or, you know, just move wrong and bam, next thing you know, you know, it's just like that. Kind of killed the plans, you know what I'm saying, we had for the rest of the day, man, because everybody trying to make sure that he good, you know. Just shoot a prayer for my boy Lil Mike, or Big Mike. No, it's Lil Mike to us because, you know, he younger than us, and, you know, he like a little brother to us. So just shoot a prayer for him, man. I hope, you know, I I don't think I'm going to put the, the, the clip on, on camera because, you know, y'all don't need to see that. But, yeah, man, uh, prayers up. Like I said, it just kind of come with it. Me personally, man, I, you know, I went through, shoot, I went through three knee injuries, um, you know, playing football in my ninth grade year. Um, actually, I tore up my knee before the season started. So I missed my whole ninth grade year of playing football. And then fast forward my senior year, having, you know, best season of my high school career. And the week before the uh, my last playoff game, a uh, playoff game that would have sent us to the state, uh, the city championship. Tear my knee up again, um, so I didn't even get to play my last game in high school. Then I get to college, and before my college career can even get started, you know, I end up blowing out my other knee. So it was one of them things, man. You know, God, I feel like was trying to tell me something. You know, hey, it's time to put the ball down, put the cleat, hang the cleats up, and you just got to find another route. And so. You know, I still, you know, I still love playing the game, you know, obviously not in full pass, stuff like that, but, you know, I play flag and stuff like that, but, you know, taking it serious to where, you know, I'm out here trying to bust my ass and work out every day and, and stuff like that. I mean, it just go to show it, you know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. And at this point, you know what I'm saying? I'm 28 years old. I ain't got time, you know, to be getting injured and stuff like that. You know, my football dreams, uh, making it to the league, them dreams is over with, but it's time to focus and put my energy into something else. You know, put my energy into something that I'm just as passionate about as I was football. Um, and again, don't get me wrong. I, I love football. I love to play it. I love to watch it. One day I may even coach a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, when one chapter is over with, you got to find something to focus your energy on. If somebody out there right now, you know, you're trying to figure out, hey, I've been putting out my energy into one thing and, you know, it, it just seemed to not to be working out. It's okay. Yeah, no matter what, I don't care what nobody tell you. It's okay to, you know, redirect your energy, bro. Like, you know, I understand not giving up and, you know, you got all those type of stories and I, I promise you, I understand it. You got to make the best decision for you at the end of the day. Am I going to keep attacking this or am I going to focus my energy somewhere else and give the same effort, if not even more effort into something else I'm passionate about? We're not monolithic people, man. You know what I'm saying? We just, we're not put here to do one thing in life. So, you know, if, if it's multiple things, you know, find out what the multiple things are and man, just keep, you know, put your energy into it, put your passion into it, put your grind into it. And you know, why you putting all that time and energy into it, man, let the time pass. Cause it's going to pass either way. So, you know, I might as well see what happens, you know, at the end of two years, five years, 10 years and look back and say, damn, you know, it was worth it. Uh, I know at this point, man, I'm rambling, you know what I'm saying? But it's kind of had me thinking about, you know, my situation, you know, seeing kind of what happened out here today. So again, shout out to Lil Mike, prayers for Lil Mike, you know, um, you gonna be all right though, bro. You know, if you're watching this, I know you're gonna be all right. Like I always say, you know, the stuff that we go through is just part of your story. You know, everything that I went through in my life is just part of the story. It's gonna make the story that much better. You know, I used to be, why me, God? Why me? Why am I going through this? And then, you know, I got to a point now to where I embrace it, bro. Like, thank you. Thank you. You making my story so much better. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't wait to write the book. I can't wait to, to write the movie. You know what I'm saying? I can't wait to be able to tell my kids, look, this is what daddy went through. Or well, some stuff they may have to go through on their own. You know what I'm saying? Life the best teacher, bro. So, you know, I can only tell you as, as far as I can tell you, it's up to you to either take the advice or go through it and learn yourself. And I can say everything that I've been through, I done learned probably the best by just going through it. You know, I know now not to do that. And you know, I can go and, you know, just maneuver a lot better. I can tell somebody that's coming behind me, like, look, I went through this. I can tell you right now, this is probably how it's gonna work out. You may want to try it this way. You, you may want to try it that way. So, yeah, man. Um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. I got some more content coming for y'all. Yeah, trust me. I promise you. Today just kind of got cut short. A lot of sunlight kind of got killed for, for the plans that we had. 
and so we're gonna pick up probably tomorrow what we really want to do today um as far as the car content but um as always man appreciate y'all staying to the end uh if you haven't already make sure you subscribe make sure you like comment share and as always man stay locked in stay cruising with your boy and i'll catch y'all in the next video i'm out